Hello and welcome back to Griffin, Indiana. So, it's now November. We're going to have to get the harvester out because... <clears throat> the sorghum is ready. Sorghum? Was it sorghum? Oh, you know, I can't remember. Where are we? Up here. Soybeans. Soybeans are ready. How are we doing over here? 10,000 litres of silage almost. 173,000 litres of grass still. And we still have a full... Uh, well, we have a partly loaded forage wagon, I believe. So we'll get the rest of that grass put into the... Uh, Oh no, there's nothing in it. I must have emptied it already. Well, that's great news. Still, in other news, we need to get the harvester out and ready, don't we? Let's just take the uh, the trailer down to the field now. And we can go have a look at it. I think it'll be pretty much ready. But... Uh, We'll need the trailer there at some point because it is such a massive field. And look at that, all the grass is fully grown again. So we have plenty of opportunity to cut some more grass. Not that we didn't already because we had the rest of the field, but... Uh, okay, we'll leave that there. Bring the harvester down now. It's a top line of Deutschfahr. Not the biggest harvester in the world. But it is a reasonable sized one and not one we need to upgrade today. But that's good. Right. Let's put this down here. I've sort of parked everything in the way, haven't I? Right, if the trailer goes there. And I'll back this up. there then we can get the harvester onto the header which is ideal because that's how we harvest I've made things very difficult for myself here, haven't I? Anyway, now that that's out of the way, I suppose we should go and do a headland, really, just to understand the uh, the size of the field. Oh, it's huge! There is going to be many, many full harvester loads. It's a shame it's not a... It's a sh yeah, it's a shame it's not a, um, a crop that we're going to get straw from. Straw would be very, very useful. Um, the yield looks brilliant from the yield map down the bottom there. I don't think I've purchased the soil information, have I? Oh, I have. Yes, I have. Um, what did I want to have a look at? Ah, so if we turn it all around today and get wheat in, we could have wheat. Well, that's going to be a massive job to get all this harvested 
and everything turned around in one day. I don't think we're going to manage that, to be perfectly honest. I think we'll be lucky if we get the harvest done today. But yeah, that would be a huge job. enough space around the field to be able to turn. We don't need to worry about that. I'm in a tree. We go all the way around the outside to start with. And then we can start going up and down. There's no rules against put, uh, having workers on this series, so we will probably put the harvester on a worker once we've been around the, the whole lot and start going up and down. And we can start carting and thinking about other things like where we want to put a cow barn, etc. So, I'll do this to start with and I'll catch up with you again when we've got it on a worker. is now on a worker it is now empty as well so it can carry on for a little bit and we can carry on to do something else so what I've been saying since episode one is that we need to get a tether and a wind rower and I think now is the time to be doing that so I'm just going to have a look at the shop and see what we can get so uh, where are we? Tedders. Okay, the Kubota equipment one is not too bad. 6.1 meters. I think we need something a little bit wider than that. Uh, nine meters. Yes, either of these two are nine meters. The Fella one is 8.6 meters. They're not quite as big. 8.7 meters. So I think it's going to be one of these two. We'll go for the Vicon. Hmm. Now. Yes, we'll go for the Vicon. Uh, now, wind rowers. So we've got 19,000 pounds left. The obvious one to go for is either this one or the Samez. The Samez has got a slightly wider working width, but we haven't got quite enough money for that. Look at that. So, it'll be the Cavernaland. Cavernaland? That's it, isn't it? That's how you say it. Um, yep, I think so. Right. Buy that then. Did I start this series with any sort of loan? No. Good. So. We'll disconnect that from there. That can stay in the field there. And let's go pick up our tether and wind rower. So we will need to take the front weight off again. I'll leave it in the location for my front weight. Which is just by the gate here.
There it is. And now we will head off to the store. So yeah, I can come back with the tether on the front and the windrail on the back. So we can bring them both back at the same time. Be extremely useful. Uh, so I shall see you when we've picked them up and we're back at the farm. All right, here we are. We have picked up the wind rower and the tether. The worker already nearly has a full grain tank. We'll park these over here for now. The reason I think we should start doing some hay today as well is because we can fit a lot of hay in the um, in the fermenter and make hay silage or haylage. So I think it would be a good idea to do that as well. First of all, though, we've got to empty the harvester again. It's going to be a job that uh, happens quite a lot, I think. Fortunately, it's on the correct side at the minute. Now I've just got to get there in time. Although it'll probably be full before it gets to the end, so not a back, not a massive issue. We'll have to empty this trailer after this one as well, so. I think we're doing quite well at the minute. How much do these workers get paid? That's more than Derek. Lord. Right, we'll get this emptied. Then uh, it can carry on. He, she, it, what is it? He can carry on. And we could go make some hay. At least get some grass cut anyway. There we go. <clears throat> Leave the trailer down the other end again. So it'll be... Oh no, I won't. I'll go and empty it first, because it is getting heavy now. I need to put it all in the silo. It's the best time to sell soybeans is july so we have got to wait until july although we've got the silage to sell over winter which isn't so bad so we will be making some money over winter but this is the last chance we've got to get a cut of grass and i reckon we should turn it into hay and put it in the fermenter as well we could always keep some hay for the cows if we decide to get some cows. It'd be worth keeping a... maybe a trailer load or... of hay. This isn't the silo, this is the fermenting. <laughs> I need to put this into the silo because I do not want to ferment my soybeans. I wonder if I'm able to put hay into the silo. I doubt it. Right, let's just leave this here for now. Get the mower. I think I put back in here. Yes, I did. That field is going to take a very long time to cultivate and seed with that, with those tools.
that is something that I'm not very much looking forward to. Alright, we're not going to go as big as we did last time. That was a huge task. Although now we have got the wind rower, we should be able to create far fewer swaths. But we've got to tell it first. It'll still be a pretty big task. It's a pretty ginormous field. Right, I shall get all this cut. At the same time, I'll be keeping an eye on the harvester and making sure we empty that. The last thing we want is for that to sit still, costing me money. We need to make sure we keep that going. And uh, we'll get this hay done as soon as possible. a smaller section than last time but it was still a big job <clears throat> to be fair it wasn't that much smaller than last time but I'm hoping that the tether or the wind rower at least is going to make it a smaller job to pick up because picking up was huge before now let's oh, he's nearly got a full green tank let's go and empty him and then we'll have a look at the fermenting uh, production it's going to hit the side isn't it oh not quite excellent right so we need to go get a trailer and empty the harvester and then we'll come back and do the telling don't can't remember how much we could fit into the um into the fermenter we should be able to fit the same amount of hay as grass and then double up on the um, silage production so what I'm hoping is the silage will produce twice as quickly if we've got two different things in there and if we had chaff in there it would be three times as quick but you know like I said I'm hoping I'm not certain but we're um Oh, the workers getting on with this field nicely. We're nearly, well, we're over halfway. Which isn't bad at all. It's yielding really, really quite well. I'm looking forward to selling this in uh, in July. It's going to be 
going to be really good. That's going to be a, a big cash injection, that one. We can start to progress more rapidly. I don't know how much of this land I own, like all the forest over there and everything. I don't know if that's all mine or... Or what? I really don't know. I'll have to have a look at a minute. Right. There we go. That's the harvester empty again. We'll wait till that's a full load. We'll go get the tedder and we'll start tedding the grass. I'm hoping with the working width that we've got on the tedder and the wind rower that it won't take too long at all. But like I said, that's a bit of a hope. Well, setting is job number one. Yes, we should be able to cover at least, well, yeah, we should be able to cover three rows with this. Probably not a sh shabby speed. No, nine miles per hour, that's not too bad at all. Yeah, I should be, uh, should be able to cover this. I don't think the, uh, whether the wind rower isn't quite this wide, but it'll still speed things up massively. So... I'm going to crack on with this and I will see you in a bit. Well, there we go. All the hay is rowed up beautifully. The, um, the harvester has finished. But we're doing really quite well at the minute. I need to pop the windrower back in the shed. Might get rid of that little shed. It doesn't appear to be overly useful. Um... And I could put a cow shed there. It'd be really nice to have the cows on site on the farm and not not in a different field. Would love to have the cows in this area here, so that's definitely something to consider. Um, right, I'm going to tuck this over to the side, so hopefully I should still get the the um, the mower out. <clears throat> so what I would like to do now is just double check that the whole field is finished. We'll get the harvester emptied into the trailer. And get the soya beans put into the... Um, yeah, if we get the soya beans put into the silo and the harvester put away, then all we've got to do is pick up the hay and get it fermenting. And that would be it for today. There was absolutely no chance at all of me getting this field turned around and, and regrowing. This is that's going to be a bit of a mammoth job. 
also need to consider getting a uh, a plow so I can start um, I can start making fields in the grass field the other side as well right well I'm not gonna show you all the um, forage wagon work we've seen enough of that in the last episode and the one before so I will do a jump cut to the end where we'll have a look at how much we have got left I'll see you in a bit it certainly is a beautiful November evening here in Griffin, Indiana. So we've picked up all the hay off the field. That's given us 141,815 litres of hay. We're going to activate that. So all in all, we should be producing quite a bit of silage. And I'm expecting it to be, yeah, January, February time to sell it. Although we could do it over the next three months, it's not going to be that that low on funds. And um, yeah, that's going to bring in quite a bit of money. That will hopefully pay for the cows. Although we'll keep some silage back to feed the cows. But yeah, I think what we'll do is we're going to reevaluate this little, little shed over here. It's not overly useful. Uh, the tether didn't even really fit in sort of rammed it in there uh, and if we can get rid of that shed and possibly you know cut down a couple of these trees we might be able to fit a nice cow shed in this area over here so that we've got it all on the farm I'd like to keep it all in in the main yard really if I can anyway that's it for today thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon bye for now